playbook again. This video, I want to talk about the 104 technical elements presented by the Croatian Football Federation development curriculum. And I posted a reel about this already, but just a quick summary. That book is the best book that I have ever read in my entire life when it comes to youth development. And using Croatia, since 2018, they've gotten to a World Cup final. They've gotten to a World Cup semifinal. And then as of today, they're actually participating in the UEFA Nations League final. Again, another international tournament. So the last three tournaments, final, semifinal, and uh, another final. So what is that telling you? There must be something that they're doing that is correct. And I, you know, I feel like that book is my brain on steroids. But here's the thing, right? So there's one main piece about that book that really stands out to me outside of all the other great information. And that's the 104 technical elements that players need to master to get to the highest level. Now, when we're talking about the highest level, it's not college, it's not MLS, it's not USL, it's Champions League, that's the reference. It's getting to the Champions League, playing in World Cups, things like that. That's what the, the book's about is developing elite level players. And I forgot to say this, I'll say it now. The Croatia, again, using the Croatian development curriculum, Luka Modric's won a Ballon d'Or in, in 2018. So they've now produced a, one of the best players in the world. So again, they must be doing something right. And that, that's kind of the point that I'm getting to. So back to the technical elements. There's 104 of them that you have to master. And what's interesting is in the book, they introduce every single one by 13 years old. So U13. You have to be introduced to every single one. So it starts at U8 and goes all the way through to U13. And what does that tell you? That the golden age for development is between 8 to 13 during the football development phase where you're in training and you're participating in those things. So that's what they say. And they, and they actually say as well that once they're all introduced, you're now trying to master these concepts. And that's not done. You're not, you're not done mastering it by U13, but you need to be introduced to all of them by U13, and in each age group, U8, U9, U10, U11, U12, and U13, they list out all the elements you need to learn technically, clear, and then you gotta work on mastering those concepts for you to reach the ultimate goal of getting to the Champions League level. And that's just having the skill set. There's other things as well, but like the mental development, the, the physical development, but those are things that you need to have. And what's interesting about it is, at least about the book, like it just talks about mastering the basics. And that's what the technical elements are about. It's basics. It's juggling. It's heading. It's dribbling. It's tackling. Right? From a quick standpoint to help you understand. So like it doesn't need to be fancy. It doesn't need to be all these flicks and all these tricks and all these things. It's basics. It's fundamentals. And it's principles that, again, if you don't have mastered, and a lot of people always ask me this question, well, you know, Coach Kyle, don't you think that they should be learning tactics? I, I do think there's a point where players need to learn tactics, but players can't understand how to implement tactics if they don't have the skill set. And the way to flip that to you is this way. You know, I talked to a buddy of mine who essentially runs one of the biggest Ford dealerships in the country. And I asked him, like, look, when you hire a new employee, when do they actually get to service a customer, like interact with customers? And he's like, they have to do hours of training they have to do tests they have to read certain principles and do certain things he's like they will not touch a customer until that point is complete and it's the same principle here we should not have players playing competitive competitive i didn't say recreational but competitive games without the skill set so that's why i love this piece from the creation uh, football federation with their development curriculum saying there's 104 elements you need to master to be able to play at the highest game to play at the highest level possible and if you don't have it, then you won't succeed. And that's what it's saying. And again, the key point is they introduce all of them, every single one, by U13. U13. It's not U15, U16. It's U8 to U13. 